So here we see how to do a logistical uh, regression. You do logistic regressions or logit models when your dependent variable, the y variable, or what you're trying to explain is a dummy variable which takes the values either 0 or 1. And you're trying to now find some independent variables that explain uh, why the dependent variable is 0, failure, 1, or success. So what I have here is the online add data set. It's the same original data set. What was the survey campaign? The number of the respondent, their income, age, whether they were aware of the campaign, their opinion of the airline. And here's the critical thing, the intention. What was the intention to buy? Now, intention to buy in the original data set was between, um, so I took the values, so there's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what we've done for the purposes of this logistical regression is that we're going to try and turn some of these intentions to zeros and ones. So here's the rule. Anytime the intent was less than or equal to 3, I will make the logit intent that I'm going to use for my regression 0, otherwise 1. So basically what you're saying is purchase to intent is a failure. Anytime the respondent says the, in the intention is 1, 2, 3, and they say that intention is a success anytime the original intention was either 4 or 5. And we're trying to find out, for example, whether the probability that you'll buy depends on your age, income, gender, and whether you saw the ad. So what you do is you go to stat tools. By the way, I've already loaded this data set. Go to regression, choose logistic regression. And now you want to choose samples of no count variables. See that I've already chosen income, age uh, as one of the two, uh, one of the several uh, independent variables. Go down like this. You will notice I say logit intent. That's the revised intent variable that takes only the value zero and one. I also have female. I also have treatment as the independent variables. Check the box that says include classification summary. Hit OK. Ignore error messages. Error messages and you finally get this. So here's the result. Notice there's no R squared. These are the coefficients. What you do not want to say, do not say, for example, that becoming older by year reduces your chance of buying by 0 0.01. That's actually not valid in this case. In this course, you only pay attention to signs. So basically, getting older reduces your chance of buying. Uh, and you only know to uh, focus on the uh, statistical significance. In this case, there are no T values. You would have to focus on the P values, uh, which tell you, of course, when the coefficient is statistically significant. Instead of R squared, we have on the rows what the actual numbers are. So what it's saying is, of the number of ones in the data set, the model correctly hits, picks up 172 of those, which means it's a success rate of 53.92%. Of the zeros in the data set, it picked up 353 or 75.11% of the uh, original data. And that completes this tutorial.